Outbreaks of blue-green algae in the River Torrens have meant that at times the city's river has left a lot to be desired. Stormwater runoff and contaminants have long made the watercourse a no-go zone for swimmers and it's a constant battle to keep clean. But on the day of trees, volunteers are focused on restoring the Torrens' health. I think the measure of an environmentally aware city and population and government is having a river that runs through the middle of it that you can swim in. And I'd like to see the Premier swimming in the river, you know, just to, once the work's been done. Before it became too polluted, people once did swim in the Torrens with competitions held along its length early last century. There's no reason why that can't happen again. There's no reason why it can't come back to be the beautiful river it once was. This year, Greening Australia held its Arbor Day Planting Festival at the Breakout Creek wetlands at Lockleys on the lower reaches of the Torrens. Since a channel was dug here in the 1930s as a flood mitigation measure, water has been diverted away from the wetlands and the ecosystem has degraded. Today, the planting of 4,500 grasses, reeds and trees will contribute to the long-term restoration of the watercourse, a move welcomed by the West Torrens Mayor, John Trainer. Well, everybody talks about the leafy eastern suburbs. I to talk about the leafy western suburbs. But while this area of the Torrens is being restored, some other parts still need work. Because this is only one kilometre stretch of, of the Torrens, I think if you want to look at the whole Torrens, I think we should look at the whole Torrens and start working our way back upstream and getting the whole thing into the kind of condition we've got here. He's pushing for the 13 council areas the Torrens flows through to form a restoration plan for the river. Kim Robertson, ABC News, Adelaide.